You're watching UNICEF Television. A group of teenagers playing music with dreams of making it big. A familiar scene in cities and towns just about anywhere in the world. But there's a difference here. These budding musicians are residents of a youth detention facility. When they play music, it's behind bars. Located just outside the Indonesian capital, Jakarta, the facility houses just under 300 boys aged 12 to 20. Nearly half of them were convicted of drug offenses. There are 13 youth facilities in the country, and at this one in Tangerang, the staff say they don't want to just house young offenders, but find ways to get them back on track. Karena anak-anak di sini mempunyai karakter yang uh, pembosan, cukup uh, cepat jenuh terhadap satu kegiatan. Oleh karena itu selalu kita memikirkan, merencanakan dari ke hari, hari ke hari ada bentuk kegiatan baru dengan fasilitator dan kontributor yang baru. The children here do have a second chance and are better off than those who have to face adult prisons where they easily fall prey to a vicious cycle of crime. But there are other alternatives. UNICEF is working in Indonesia to promote a number of justice-related programs, including a child-friendly legal framework and procedures, and viable alternatives to detention centers. Well, mo most of our research has shown that children actually commit petty offenses, and most of the crimes committed in Indonesia by children are, are some petty crimes that could be easily prevented, and also the response to these crimes could be dealt by uh, communities themselves instead of involving the formal justice system. Many of these children are often stigmatized when they return to their homes. Raising awareness among communities and providing support for these young boys is key to ensuring that they continue on the right path. Just 12 years old, Andy has been at the detention center for just over a year. He's a ward of the state and will likely be here till he's 18. But he still has his dreams. He says when he grows up, he wants to be a teacher. He says he'd like to teach kids, but he isn't sure if there'll be enough money to help him finish school.